The Denver Broncos have added two new players to the squad. Hello everyone and welcome to Denver Broncos Syndicate, part of the Sports Syndicate family of channels where we are dedicated to bringing you content about our favorite sports teams. I am your host, Gage Madrid. Before we jump in, if you could just do me a favor and leave a like on this video as well as subscribe and ring the notification bell, that would be awesome. We are trying to reach a thousand subscribers by the beginning of the regular season and your likes really do help push this content out to fellow members of Broncos country. In wake of the injuries to Tim Patrick and Demarie Crockett, the Denver Broncos have signed wide receiver Darius Shepard and running back Max Borgie. Patrick and Crockett were placed on season-ending injured reserve in corresponding moves. Shepard is a player that several members of the Broncos coaching staff are familiar with. He initially signed with the Green Bay Packers as an undrafted free agent back in 2019 out of North Dakota State, so of course there is familiarity there with head coach Nathaniel Hackett and offensive coordinator Justin Outen. Shepard bounced between Green Bay's active roster and practice squad before ultimately being cut in December of 2020. During his time with the Packers, Shepard recorded six receptions for 47 yards on offense, as well as 20 kickoff returns for 374 yards. During the 2021 season, Shepard bounced between several practice squads, including the Minnesota Vikings. New Broncos quarterbacks coach Clint Kubiak was the Vikings offensive coordinator last season, so there's another coach who has some familiarity with Darius Shepard. Most recently, Shepard played for the New Jersey Generals of the USFL. With the Generals, Shepard recorded 27 catches for 323 yards and one touchdown. He measures in at 5'11 and 187 pounds and brings a nice element of speed to his game. As far as Max Borgie is concerned, he's a player that the Broncos didn't have to look far to find. Borgie was born and raised in the Denver area, attending Pomona High School in Arvada. During his high school career, he rushed for 3,512 yards and 50 touchdowns. Borgie went on to play collegiately at Washington State, where he was a dynamic factor in both the run game and the pass game. In four seasons at Wazoo, Borgie rushed for 2,158 yards on 369 carries. He also caught 156 passes for 1,100 34 yards and nine additional touchdowns. He ended up going undrafted back in April, partially due to an ankle injury that he suffered during off-season training. He then signed an undrafted free agent contract with the Indianapolis Colts back in May, but he was then waived a few days later. He then had a tryout with the Broncos during June minicamp. The team must have liked what they saw. Although he wasn't signed to a contract in June, he appeared to be the first player on the Broncos on-call list should one of their running backs go down with an injury. Unfortunately, one of the running backs did go down, so Borgie is now pressed into duty for his hometown team. Both players did see some action on day 8 of Broncos training camp at UC Health Training Center. Although Borgie pretty much only saw reps on special teams today, Shepard actually got some action with the first team offense, and he ended up having one of the best plays of the day. Shepard showcased some of his blazing speed as he burned the second team defense deep on a post route for a 60-yard touchdown from Josh Johnson. A nice way for Darius Shepard to begin his tenure with the Broncos, so let's see if he can continue to build on that momentum. As far as other players who stood out today, Russell Wilson had one of his best practices practices so far during training camp. During the first red zone period, Russ was able to find Montrell Washington on a bootleg to the right, who was able to outrace Jonas Griffith into the end zone for a touchdown. During the next red zone period, Russ was flushed out of the pocket to his right, but he kept his eyes downfield the entire way. Greg Dulcich was able to find the void in the zone coverage, and Russ flipped the ball back across his body to him for an absolutely sick touchdown throw. In the following team period, Russ connected on four straight passes including a deep over route to Cortland Sutton for 35 yards. Cortland also had a very memorable day today. During a two-minute drill, the offense found themselves in a fourth down and four situation. 
Russ launched the ball deep on a go route to Cortland Sutton down the left sideline. Ronald Darby had nearly textbook coverage on the play, but it didn't matter as Cortland was able to climb the ladder and literally wrestle the ball over Darby's head. We have seen some incredible catches from Cortland Sutton over the years, and honestly, that one might be up there with the best of them. An absolutely gorgeous play to set up first down and goal in the red zone. The offense was able to cash in with an 18-yard touchdown to Trey Quinn on a slant route. The two-minute drill wasn't the only time that Cortland Sutton got the best of Ronald Darby. Earlier in the day, Sutton beat Darby for a 35-yard completion on another deep over route with a nice toe-tap catch to boot. If I had to pick a winning unit for the day, it would hands down be the offense, and in particular, Russell Wilson and and Cortland Sutton. I'm curious, Broncos country, do you plan on attending any games at Empower Field at Mile High this season? Drop those comments down below. I would love to hear from you. Be sure to leave a like on this video, as well as subscribe and ring the notification bell so you don't miss when we upload. And while you're at it, be sure to follow me on Twitter at Gage Madrid NFL for even more Broncos training camp coverage. And for now, this has been another episode of Denver Broncos Syndicate. I am your host, Gage Madrid, saying peace out and let's ride.